Uh, hi guys, this is V-Ray. Um, I'm just here to show you uh, my method for unwrapping. I actually learned it from our current level modeler. Um, so I, you know, I've been doing this all day for that city. Uh, I didn't get to finish it, but I thought I'd show you on something else. I'm, I'm really tired of working on the city, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'll just show you uh, a quick thing real quick. If you guys want to see me unwrap this full model or something else, then just let me know. But I'll, I'll give you the basic gist of what it is, and um, I'll, I'll, you know, leave it, leave it there. So, um, well, uh, first I'll tell you what unwrapping actually is. Unwrapping is um, basically projecting a 3D model onto a 2D plane. You know, so um, you do this because uh, you do this for uh, texturing purposes. So if you wanna, you know, you wanna add color to the model or add shading in this model's case, it, ha it already has color. You see, um, then you know you can. Uh, this model was made by me uh, few, like about a week ago. It took me about five hours. It's not you know perfect or anything by any means. By any means, but I think this will uh, work out for the, the small demonstration I have. So, um, I uh, this might seem like I'm cutting short, but uh, I I, I don't plan on doing much of this model on ca on uh, camera, so uh, just bear with me. And if you need me to explain what I did, I would be happy to. All right, so uh, first thing I'll do is hide everything but this model. Um. Now this is really un only unwrapping for um, for Maya, but some of the general rules apply. The rules are uh, are, are pretty simple. You want to have um, you, you want to reduce seams in the model, and you want to um, you usually want to um, have How you you want to organize your your UV space in a way that you can understand it. Um, so anyway, um, now one more thing is that you want to have it. You want to make it so that you can. This so the model doesn't stretch out the UVs, and that's how it is right now on this. This is the UV editor. Sorry, uh, you know, this is the UV editor here. Um, just like you know that, and this is where you'll you'll kind of see what the UV space looks like. Um, so basically, I'll just move this out the way. Right now, the whole body is uh, connected in this weird kind of uh, stretched out kind of way. I, and in some some ways, this could actually work out. But uh, for what I what I want to do with the final product of this model, it won't. So. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll just un I'll just un I'm just planning on unwrapping the belly, and uh, that will give you a good idea, and then you can really apply it to anywhere else. So, um, and it's important to understand uh, the three axes of um, 3D space. So you know X, Y, Z. In Maya, Y is up and down, X is left and right, and Z is forward and back. I know this is a Different, bit different, bit different uh, in other 3D applications like uh, 3D Max. Uh, Z is up while Y is forward and back. So uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Um, also, um, other applications won't have the same tools. So um, what I'll do right now, what I'm doing right now is I'm just selecting this um, belly area. I use the grow tool. Um, control right click to grow selection and then G to repeat that tool. Um, so yeah, just let me let me do my thing and pick this chest area. Now, I mean, in some ways, I mean, sometimes you could just cut, the, like, I would um, just cut, like, cut the body and like into a front half, a back half, and then cut the top off and bottom off. But, for, but uh, in this case, I'm just gonna cut the um, the whole stomach out. Uh, I know this isn't Digimon related, by the way, guys. But um, I don't know. That's not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I kind of am only the Digimon guy. But whatever. 
I can do other things too. Uh, by the way, this is a um, this is Danky Kang. Um, I actually was requested to do this by someone. This they they pretty much just asked me. It's like, hey, can you model this guy? And I was like, yeah, I did. I, and I was like, yeah, I can. I'm like, why do you want me to? Um, there's this fake uh, Jeopardy question. You, you might want to look it up. Danky Kang. Um, so it's like a it's like a mixture of Sonic the Hedgehog and Donkey Kong. I'll let you see the model one more time before the video's over. Or we can go back to the beginning. But uh, anyway, once I have this selected, um, it's pretty easy from here. What you want to do is go to Create UVs, Planar Map, and then uh, click the Tool Settings. Um, now, like I said, there's three axes in three uh, axes in 3D space. Oh, let me deselect this. Didn't slip me notice that. Three axes in 3D space. Um, forward, forward, back, left, and right, up and down. Um, forward and back. In this case, is Z. So that's what we we'll use. Z. And I, I know this because. Oh, what? Actually, hold on. I think I made a mistake. Sorry, I just moved the recorder. And you can see Danky Kings in my background too. <laughs> but hey, I just made a, a a small mistake. You see, he's um he's rotated. Err, this is pissing me off. Okay, close this. Okay, now he's rotated um 90 degrees. Um, you can see right here. So he's rotated 90 degrees the other way. So in this case his front would be X. So that's what I would create. Um, planar map right there. Um, turn on this UV thing. Alright, so his frontal area has to be X because the right side is his front. If you get that. <laughs> um, so I, I click that. And then you see it up here right here. Um, and I can move this out the way and everything. Um, so now, I, so what I just did there was uh, I had this selected with faces. I'm going to right click, go to UV. Um, then I can, um, see what I want to do is I want to, I want to stretch this out as much as I can so I, I don't have overlapping lines. Um, the problem with overlapping lines is, uh, here, let me show you. Sometimes you'll get pur this purplish, so that means it's overlapping. Um, also like, uh, I guess a pinkish would be it, um, and then that you'll have like a, a reddish color where, where it's like backward. Yeah, it's red when it's backwards. So you re really want the whole thing to uh, to be a blue or as cl as close to blue as possible. Once that's the case, you can click this tool here to smooth your UVs out, and that'll just flatten everything out. And then there's um, let's say. Let's say you um you, you do it like one half at a time, so you cut this kind of this piece in half. So let's see let's say I uh I cut these two in half. With this uh with this cut tool. Separate these. Now they uh once I click that um this line cut them in half. So what I'll do is I'll put them apart. Oh yeah, see they're cut in half. Now the way you want to attach them again is um, by selecting that same line. And then um, there's two ways to connect them. There's this way, which will move things, you know, in the center, which is good sometimes. And then there's this one that will move uh, the whole um, shell. That's what you would call this this whole um, UV thing. You call this a shell. It move one shell to the other. And that's usually what you want to do. And you can see the rest of the body. Uh, I'm not going to focus on that right now because I still have the 10 minute limit. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, and this is what I've been doing all day. Uh, as for progress with the city, I'm I'm still I'm still unwrapping it for the most part. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want the textures to look like and everything. It's really just me working on it. Um, while everyone else is doing, um, you know, and doing the actual uh, place, I just wanted to release. Like I've been wanting to release this for a long time. Uh, I don't think anyone wants to help me with it. Um, that's, not, that's a bad thing. So yeah, they're they're focused on the actual level. I want to try to do that. So uh, thank you.